Hello there, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you the details of turbidity sensor that includes what's inside a turbidity sensor, how a turbidity sensor works, and finally, how to make a turbidity meter using Arduino. Let's get started. So first of all, the turbidity term simply means the cloudiness of a liquid. It occurs by the scattering of visible light due to the presence of suspended particle in the liquid. So now let's see the working principle of a turbidity sensor. A yes, turbidity sensor has two parts, one transmitter and one receiver or detector. Transmitter simply transmits the visible light or any kind of light and detector detects that light. When we place a sample in between transmitter and detector, the transmitter light pass through the liquid and the intensity changes. The change in intensity of the light is directly proportional to the turbidity. If the liquid is more turbid, the intensity is very low. So we can simply measure turbidity by measuring the intensity at the receiver side. We can use photodiode or LDR to detect the light intensity. So that's the working principle. So now let's have a look at our sensor. It has two parts. One is the sensor part and second one is the driver part. In the driver part there is a IC to amplify the signal. I don't know the number. Now let's open the sensor. And you can see a U shaped structure and that's the transmitter and the receiver. We place samples in between the transmitter and receiver. This sensor uses IR light and detector. Now let's build a turbidity meter using this sensor. For that we need a Arduino, a 16x2 LCD display, a RGB LED. A turbidity sensor has three pins, ground, VCC and a analog output. First connect ground to ground, then VCC to 5 volt and the analog out to a 0 pin. And now let's check the values. I connected the Arduino to computer and open Arduino ID. This code is for checking the values on serial monitor. This is a very simple sketch. First I read the analog values using analog read function. Then I printed that values to serial monitor. After uploading code to Arduino, I opened the serial monitor. And you can see the values changes from 650 to 0. 650 means no intensity and 0 means maximum intensity. Now let's connect the LCD display, VCC to 5V, ground to ground, SDA to A4 and SCL to A5 because I am using I2C LCD. Finally connect RGB LED to Arduino, first connect ground to ground, then green to pin 7, blue to pin 8 and red to pin 10. After completing the connections, I connected the Arduino to computer and opened the code. You can download this code from my blog, link is in the description. First I include the liquid crystal library for controlling the LCD. Then in the setup section I define the pin modes. And in the loop section first I read the analog value. Then I map it that value to 0 to 100. Then I gave different conditions and the different conditions are like this. If the turbidity is below 20, print it's clear and also light up the green LED. And if the turbidity is between 20 and 15, print it's cloudy and also light up the blue LED. 
and finally if the turbidity is greater than 15 print it's dirty and also light up the red LED after uploading code to Arduino now let's check for demonstration first I took a glass of clear water then a glass of sedimented muddy water and a glass of hard mud water now let's check first I place the turbidity sensor on clear water and you can see the LCD shows it's clear and also the green LED lights up and in the second it shows it's cloudy and also the blue LED and finally in the muddy water you can see LCD shows it's dirty and the red LED so everything is working well so you can download schematics code from my vlog all link is in the description so that's all about today hope you got some ideas about turbidity sensor if so like share maybe subscribe all up to you thanks for watching I will see you next time.